Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The Centers for Disease Control, or CDC, ran a public website called the National Healthcare Safety Network. Hospitals had been reporting all their COVID-19-related data on a daily basis to that network. In July, the Trump administration issued a new directive that hospitals should report this data to a new website through the Department of Health and Human Services called HHS Protect. That website won't be public, leading to concerns that the administration may be seeking to tamp down on the official fatality numbers during an election year. The Trust CDC Act would overturn that Trump administration directive by requiring hospitals to once again submit data to a reinstated CDC website that must be updated daily. It was introduced in the Senate on July 29th by Rhode Island Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. And yes, his last name really is Whitehouse. Uh, Supporters argue that the existing data reporting system had been working and there was no reason to upend that. Uh, The lead sponsor said, quote, I can think of no good motivation for why the Trump administration would upend the CDC's trusted system for reporting COVID-19 data in the middle of an accelerating pandemic. Opponents counter that the new data reporting system was created just since the pandemic began with features specifically intended to respond to this deadly virus. The Department of Health and Human Services chief information officer told reporters that the new system provides many additional capabilities. Well, I would put this video on the Department of Health and Human Services new website, uh, but I want it to be public.